Yep. Hey guys, we got Mike here. So um, we'll go ahead and do what we always do raise your hands to get in the queue, and uh, we'll start with questions. So, who's first? Ben Arnett got in there. Go ahead, Ben. Can you give us, uh, you know, kind of your perspective and insight on on how things are going for the offensive line in general as you try to find the mix and, you know, as Coach Drink says, find the five best and get them in the right positions? Yeah, I think every day uh, Coach Johnson does his best to put guys in the right spot. And and from there we just compete, try to see who the best five are every day. Colin, go ahead. Hey, Mike, what, what was it about Missouri or the coaching staff here that attracted – you to them after you put your name on the portal? Honestly, just uh, the people that they are, I felt like they just really meant what they said, and, and I feel like this was the best spot for me for my last year. Nate Edwards, go ahead. Yeah, Mike, uh, what's, what's the biggest difference been so far between camp at Rutgers and camp at the zoo? <laughs> well, right now it's so hard because with the COVID and, and things like that, it's hard to – I guess find, find a difference, you know what I mean? Because it's all so different. Every day is a, uh, is a mystery, but th there's a couple differences. Peter, go ahead. You only get one this time, though. This is, this is a kind of random question, but um, how many of your classes are you doing, like, in person, and how many are online? And was that – did any of those plans change because of COVID? Um, well, well, I'm in a program that was – all online to begin with. So before COVID or not, we were, I was going to be in online. Does, if I can have one follow-up, Sean, does that like, I guess, be, because of the situation, does that give you any more peace of mind than normal? Like not being- I mean, I, I think everybody here at this university is doing a great job keeping, well, the plan to keep everybody safe when, when classes start up. So I wasn't like afraid or anything like that. Just happens to be that I'm online. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Mike, uh, first off, just obviously with, with uh, the Big Ten having canceled, I mean, what was, what was your thought process when, when you saw that news and, and realizing that, that you could have been in that boat? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty lucky that I'm able to say that I can play college football this year because half the, the conferences in, in the country kind of shut down. So I'm really happy to be here playing football. Andy Kimball, go ahead. Hi, Mike. Um, I guess just – I know there's a quarterback battle, and as the center, is there, like, a huge difference between any of you guys with, like, how you're snapping the ball to them and sort of, like, kind of the it, like the chemistry? And is that – does the, will, like, any familiarity, like, help at all in that respect? Does that make sense? Um, I think as time goes on, there will be more uh, familiarity with, like, finding out – like who the quarterback is. But as of right now, uh, it's, it's a competition, and, and we'll see in the next couple of weeks or whenever coach decides to make that call. Blum, go ahead. Hey, Mike, first off, what's the proper way to, announce, to, to pronounce your last name? My Yeti. My Yeti. I just want to make sure I got that right. Yeah, thank and you. Then, and then second, have you been in contact with any of your former Rutgers teammates or anybody you know in the Big Ten? And what's their feeling kind of like knowing that – are they jealous of you or what's like kind of their feeling like for them now? No, I mean, I, I try to keep uh, – because we're in camp right now, I'm so busy. I just try to, to get to know my teammates, you know what I mean? Right now, I try to build relationships with these guys and earn their trust and respect. So, Mitch Forty, go ahead. Hey, Mike, I – I know, obviously, you, you, know, you have a lot of experience playing on the field, but it's for a different system. I'm curious, how can experience still be valuable even after you come to a different place and are playing with different uh, people next to you? Um, hmm, it's a good question. I, I mean, I, I just go out there and I try to just do my best. And Coach Johnson does a great job just getting everyone in the right spot on the offensive line. So he, do, he does a good job with, with all that. Adam Cole, go ahead. Uh, you mentioned Coach Johnson. I was just kind of curious what you've enjoyed most about working with him and just kind of the energy he brings. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I love his energy. From the second I, I arrived here, I, I realized that he was an up-tempo guy, and, and that's what I want. That's what I enjoy playing for. Go ahead, Suichi. Hey, like, yeah, obviously you, you kind of come in first-year guy at Mizzou, but you're, you're probably one of the most experienced, uh, I guess, 
how is it kind of earning, you know, those guys respect again, you know, new, new players respect and just kind of going about your business and everything. Yeah. I mean, we just finished uh, practice three here. So, I mean, I'm still, I'm still working on that every day from, from meetings to lifts to on the field, everything. So I'm still earning those guys respect every day, trying to. Gabe, go ahead. Mike, did the, uh, did the coaches talk to you about kind of being a leader? I, I think you have almost as many snaps in a college game as every other lineman on the, on the roster combined. Even though you're a first-year guy, did they talk to you about leading that group when you came in? Yeah, I mean, uh, there, there's a couple guys with, that have some experience in the room too. But uh, just from playing this position, so much communication that, that goes on from center and things like that. So you kind of have that. Uh, given to that role in football. Nate Edwards, go ahead. So uh, yesterday, Coach Drink said that Kobe Whiteside was built like a Greek god. Uh, <laughs> of the defensive linemen, which one do you look forward to going against the most? Uh, Kobe, we're, we're all of uh, an inch apart. So every day we, uh, we get to see what each other's made of. I enjoy it. Colin, go ahead. You can close it. Uh, Close this thing with Colin. So go ahead. And Mike, uh, Drink just a few minutes ago on here said for the offensive line, he wants to get the best five players out there. Uh, I was just curious, could you see yourself sliding to a guard spot or, or would you like to stick at center? No, I mean, honestly, I'm, I'll play any position uh, the team needs me. I haven't played any game reps at, at guard or tackle or anything like that, but I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm open to anything, honestly. Thanks, cool. Mike. All right, we'll let Mike go with that one. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have that Gatorade. Hmm? Have that Gatorade. Okay. Appreciate that. Hey, there you go, man. That's